Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ruchi Reacts com coming at you again with another video. And today, uh, I've been like I I've been um, playing off as a decoy um, to another pedophile. Um, his name is Alan. Um, I'm gonna show y'all a picture up here. Um, and, and technically, he's this like he's in his 70s, and he and my, my decoy is a. 15 year old boy that's my decoy is a 15 year old boy and like you know this this man is sick bro he is sick like he should have just ended the conversation as soon well he hit me up first and then like he thought about ending the conversation but then all of a sudden he just kept on going so like you know but i'm about to call this man i'm about to um try to do a 15 year old voice like I mean, I'm pretty sure 15 year old isn't too. I mean, since I don't even have that much bass in my voice, I should have, um, like, have it in my favor. But anyways, let's get right into it. Gosh, I'm nervous. Hold on. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good. That's good. So, what you been doing? Uh, you know, I've been playing Xbox. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. How about you? Yeah, I've been watching my shows. I'm watching Outsider on uh, HBO, which is based on a Stephen King story. Uh, that's cool. So it's, uh, I usually don't watch horror things, but because it's Stephen King, mm -hmm. I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah. But I guess the next episode is the finale, so this one's, uh, ended in a bunch of gunshots, so I don't know if everybody's dead or what. Uh huh. Like the type of shows I watch is uh, like you know. I'm in. I'm still in the cartoons and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. Like Nickelodeon. Right. Uh huh. I and never liked cartoons. I don't know. I watched a few when I was younger. But... Oh. That that's that's cool. But there's a, there's a lot of good TV on the uh, HBO and Showtime and Amazon. There's so much around now, you can't watch every good thing. Uh huh. And I can easily become addicted. <laughs> uh. Yeah. But it's kind of good you're not a TV addict. Yeah. So how come you you were gonna go out so late? Your parents allowed it. Uh, my son, I just, well, I don't know. Like sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh huh. So, but I'm gonna just stay in the house. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. 10, 10 o'clock is kind of unusual. Mm hmm. And I've never been a, a, a late night person anyway, but I don't know. On a school night, I don't. My parents were kind of loose, but I don't think they'd ever let me go out in the school night. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Oh. Uh. So you're a sophomore. Yeah, I'm a sophomore. Yeah. How are your grades? Well, I'm in AP honors classes, so I, I get pretty I try to get pretty decent grades. I got three point Oh yeah, wow, that's good. Mm-hmm. I got three point five GPA. Very good. I think I told you they didn't have AP classes. Yeah, I liked history and uh, 
social sciences and languages, English, but I was always uh, not too good in science and math. Uh-huh. And I'm still not. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets hard sometimes. Yeah, and now it's uh, the stuff that uh, I had in high school in math. They they teach them. My granddaughter's like in the third grade, and they teach them. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just getting lower and lower down there. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I have a question. Yeah. Like, why, why did you ask me if I was experienced sexually? Just curious. Oh. Whether you were sexually active or you just uh, felt you were gay and I never done anything. Uh, oh. I mean, as I told you, it's very, very different uh, today's world from when I grew up. So I'm just curious about that. Uh, Why? What bothered you about that question? Oh, nothing. Not. I was just curious. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, in my day of growing up, you know, it was kind of taboo to talk about anything. Right? Oh. But uh, you'd never admit that you had any feelings for the same sex. Because uh, in those days, it was against the law, it was considered a mental illness. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing like today's world. Mm hmm. You probably get kicked out of school. Definitely you got fired from your job. Uh huh. You know, pretty much anywhere except for uh, Greenwich Village in New York and uh, Haight Asbury in San Francisco. You could be. Somewhat open about being gay, but nowhere else. Oh my. Not part of the world. Mm hmm. I mean, websites like they have now, I mean, they, well, computers didn't exist when I was growing up. I mean, it would be unheard of, but. So I'm just curious about, uh, uh, especially uh, people that are openly gay and your age, because I come across a lot of uh, young people that still get kicked out of the house for being gay. Yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah. It's just really uh, curiosity. Uh. Mhm. Mm so, what other things you like to do besides Xbox? I'm in chorus in high school. And, oh, okay. And, and I'm also in art club. Ah. Yeah. You interested in art? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, that's good. I always was, but I just didn't have a talent. But I was in a lot of activities. Mm-hmm. They still have school newspapers and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, we did too. I was in that. I was in the yearbook committees. I got a lot of 
I have this singing voice, so I'd never get picked for chorus. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So what do you you go swimming or beach or movies? Yeah, I I, I go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I like going to the beach. Yeah, friends. I enjoy the beach. And you like Duffy's, which is uh, interesting. Cause that's one of my favorite places too. Yeah. Which Duffy's do you go to? The Duffy's on Jog and Okeechobee, or the one on Okeechobee? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I go to most of the time. I sometimes I go to the one on Village Boulevard, but most of the time I go to the Okeechobee one. And mm -hmm. I've been to the downtown one a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty good. I enjoy Duffy's. Mm -hmm. So that's good, because that's one of the things that I like to have company to do. Uh -huh. That and the beach. You like movies or... Yeah. Yeah, I like to go to the movies. And I see a lot on TV, movies and series. Mm-hmm. Do you watch any of the streaming things or? Of the streaming things you said? Yeah, I like yeah, Amazon or Netflix. Yeah, or... I watch Netflix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got uh, CBS All Access because there was so much on it that I wanted to see, so... Mm hmm I got that when they had the specials on uh, Black Friday, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Because I watch uh, The Good Fight and both Star Treks. Mm hmm. And uh, I want to watch The Twilight Zone, but I haven't started that yet. Uh huh. Because that was one of my favorites as a young person The Old Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. So what kind of cartoons do you watch? Spongebob. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah, I mm -hmm. had a guy stay in here that watched Spongebob all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes I'd watch with him, but... I'm never into cartoons very much. Mm hmm I like South Park, but I don't... I just don't have the time to watch that. Oh, South... I also watch Family Guy. What do you watch? Family Guy. Oh, I don't even know that. Oh. Oh, Family Guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if I've... I don't know one from the other. I've seen some of those. Can I call you back? I'm going to go eat. Oh, sure. Okay. Right. I don't have the stomach for this. Oh, my God. I just don't. Oh, my God. I just don't got the stomach for this. The dude's 70 years old, bro. He is 70 years old talking to a 15 year old. Okay. Like that man should be ashamed of himself.
okay? Even if it's not sexual, okay? I mean, he he was asking me sexual questions. Like that one when he when I asked him how come because in a text message and I'm I'm about to show y'all the text message in the beginning of this video, okay? Um, we uh, I'm about to show y'all the beginning of the text message. All right, he said, "Oh, how come you asked me? Um, uh, how come you asked me like if I'm sexual or not?" And then he said the op that. Came up some lame ass excuse about the op openly gay shit. Uh, and then he started with the openly gay shit. And it's just. It's just ridiculous, okay? I mean, he needs. He, he, he should be ashamed of himself, okay? I mean. He is talking to a 15-year-old, what he thinks to be a 15-year-old, okay? And my plan is, okay, this is my plan, all right? This is going to be the best exposed exposure ever, okay? I'm going to, uh, the plan is to meet him at Duffy's on Wednesday, okay? Hopefully, okay, hopefully it's not guaranteed yet, but... That's what that's what he wants to do. He he keeps on blowing me up, saying he wants to meet up at Duffy's, and then once I get there, okay, I'ma go to the table, on where he's at, and I'ma freaking scream out. Uh, well, first time if he doesn't talk to me on why he's trying to meet up with fifteen year old kids, I'ma just say this guy this guy is trying to meet up with fifteen year olds because Duffy be Duffy's be crowded as fuck. Okay, I mean I don't give a shit no more. I mean I. I just don't got the stomach for this. It makes me sick. I see children in the face. I, I mean, I see God in the faces of children. Okay? I mean, God is in the faces of children. Why would you want to take that innocence away from them? Why? Like, why would you want to take that innocence away from them? By sexually... But what he's doing right now is the grooming process. He's trying to groom the fifteen the fifteen year old decoy. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to groom the fifteen year old decoy. And then it's gonna get sexual. I guarantee you that. Even more sexual than it is now. Which is why on Wednesday I'm exposing this fucker. Oh my god. I I just this is just sick, bro. Every time I do these videos, bro, I get sick to my stomach. I don't know how you you predator YouTubers do this, okay? I don't know how you catching child predator YouTubers do this, okay? I mean, how do y'all have a stomach for this? I mean, like, I just don't know. How do y'all have the stomach for this? Oh, fuck. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to put the chat logs in the beginning of the video. It's actually, I think um, I'm going to have to skip some editing because, like, you know, this video is becoming very long, but it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Why would you want to take the innocence of God's children? That's why I think of children as heavenly angels. And people are out there taking innocence away from them. Oh my god. It just it bothers me so much. It bothers me. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck. And this man... This man is out here, he's 70 years old, and he thinks, at least I think he is 70 or 50, I don't know, but it's up there. And he's thinking it's okay to meet up with 15-year-olds. I'm exposing this fucker once I meet up with him. Once I meet up with him, I'm exposing this fucker in front of the Duffies. So y'all stay tuned for that. I mean, this motherfucker, he won't be able to step foot out in public again.
I, I guarantee you that. Because, gosh, she made my stomach hurt. It's It was his voice. He even sounded like a predator. Oh, my God. Anyways. Um... It's been your boy Ruchi Reacts. Subscribe for more content. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'm out.